Hi, Ben Franklin families. Hi, friends. If you've ever been a student of mine, or you are a student of mine right now, you know that I love books that sing. And this book, Puff the Magic Dragon, definitely sings. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whene'er they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Oh, Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. A dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and little boys. Painted wings and giant rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more, and Puff, that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane without his lifelong friend. Puff could not be brave, so Puff that mighty dragon sadly slipped into his cave. Oh, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolics in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Oh, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolics in the autumn mist in a land